Atlas might be fragmenting. Breaking up, that is. Comet Atlas, or C219Y4, is a comet with a near-parabolic orbit, which was discovered by the Atlas survey just recently, December 28, 2019. It's currently the brightest comet of 2020, and it can be found in the constellation of Camelopardalis, meaning uh, uh, giraffe in Greek, with binoculars or even a telescope, and it's expected that the comet will continue to brighten, and it's possible the comet may be visible to the naked eye this month and in May 2020 with the naked eye, and it'll reach its point to Earth, the nearest point, May 23rd, and come to perihelion closest to the Sun, May 31st, according to what's written here on Wikipedia. And space weather shows us that, says that uh, this comet, Comet Atlas, the new data for astronomers around the world show that a once promising comet is beginning to fade from Carl Batoms of the Naval Research Lab in Washington, D.C. He says it could be a classic case of, I told you so. He says, quoting myself from March 15, I wouldn't be surprised to see Comet Atlas start to fade rapidly and possibly even disintegrate before reaching the sun. I very much hope I'm wrong, but Comet Elenin did something similar several years ago, holding lots of promise and then just fizzling out. Recently, Comet Atlas galvanized astronomers as it fell towards the sun, skyrocketing in brightness like few comets before it. And by late May 2020, this month, it promised to rival Venus in the sunset sky, but recent developments belied that possibility. Today, April 6, astronomers Quan Zi Ye of the University of Maryland and Qicheng Zing of Caltech reported new images of Comet Atlas in which the comet's core appears to be elongating, as would be expected from a major disruption of the nucleus. That's what they explained. And so this that Batum said it's possible that this is the beginning of its end. The recent measurements of the comet's position also point to trouble. Batum's explains the comet's orbit is now being influenced by non-gravitational forces. These forces are the result of gases lifting off the comet nucleus, causing the nucleus to move more silently, slightly in the opposite direction, sort of like a jet engine. Most active comets experience this some, to some degree, but Atlas's non-gravitational forces have kicked in very abruptly and are quite strong. This supports the narrative of a small nucleus being pushed very strongly by extreme outgassing, possibly along with fragmentation. And he says, finally, let's not forget that Atlas is a fragment of a larger, unidentified comet, also relating to the great comet of 1844. And Batum explains, fragmenting is a family trait for these guys. Now, is the comet Atlas doomed? Not necessarily. The frustrating thing about comets is we often don't know exactly what they're doing or why they're doing it. There's still a chance that comet Atlas is just taking a breather before another outburst. And Batum says, I wouldn't count on it. No matter what happens, amateur astronomers are encouraged to monitor developments. And there's a link here on Space Weather. You can see the fantastic uh, images of uh, people that, that have already taken images of this all across the world. It was discovered on CCD images taken December 28, 2019 with a reflecting microscope, telescope, sorry, atop Mauna Loa in Hawaii. The images were taken as part of the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS. At the time of the discovery, the comet shone magnitude 19.6 in the constellation Ursa Major, as viewed from Earth. Larry Deneau as, uh, was the first to identify the obvious cometary, cometary appearance, placing the object in the minor planet centers Possible comet confirm confirmation page, altering other astron alerting other astronomers. Further observations over subsequent days identified a coma. A comet tail became increasingly apparent as observations continued, according to Wikipedia. And the orbit? At the time of discovery, Comet Atlas was nearly three astronomical units from the Sun. One AU is 92 million miles. 
that's the distance between Earth and the Sun. So this was what three years about about uh, two hundred seventy to uh, three hundred million uh, miles away. The first orbital calculation for the comet were published mon uh, on the mo Minor Planet Electric Circular, based on observations taken between December twenty eighth, two thousand nineteen and January 9th, 2020, indicating a 4,400-year orbital pattern and a perihelion of 0 0.25 AU. So this was, uh, this had come around uh, 2,400 years ago. Similar, similar similarities were noted between the orbital elements of this uh, Atlas asteroid and the Great Comet of 1844, suggesting that Atlas could be a fragment of that same parent body. The JPL small body database using EPOC February 18, 2020 shows Atlas with an orbital period about 6,000 years, that is 4,000 BC, but this solution includes perturbations while inside of the planetary region. A more useful inbound barycentric solution before the comet entered the planetary region shows an orbital period of about 4,800 years. The comet will reach its nearest point to the Sun on May 31st of this year, and after leaving the planetary region, the comet will have an outbound orbit period of about 5,200 years, according, again, to Wikipedia. I'll leave links below for you for this. You can see the pictures on the link in Space Weather if you'd like. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.